Following the tragic passing of Anna Benavidez at Taylor Swift's Rio show, the Justice Minister has now announced people can bring water to the show for personal use and that the show producers must provide free and easily accessible water for everybody. This week, Rio and most of Brazil have had record-breaking temperatures and a heat wave. The daytime high in Rio on Friday was 39.9 degrees Celsius, which is 102 degrees Fahrenheit, but it felt much hotter inside the stadium. And concert goers say they were not allowed to bring in their own water. People were waiting for hours in the blistering heat taking shelter under umbrellas if they had one. And because the GA area had a first come first serve basis, people were lining up for hours. There was even firefighter scenes spraying people with water to try to cool them off because of the heat. Another huge problem was that once inside the stadium, people didn't want to lose their spot, particularly in the GA area, it was first come first served. It was also super cramped from the pictures I've seen. So even if people wanted to go get water, it was really difficult to actually get out, but also people didn't want to lose their spot of where they were standing. Sadly for Anna, she was like the thousands of other fans that waited outside in the blistering heat before the show. She'd shared videos to her Instagram live, taking shelter under an umbrella, talking about the heat. She told her followers while fanning her face that she'd arrived at 11 a.m. The show began around 7.30 p.m. and was still in the mess. According to a number of news outlets, her friend Danielle Menon, who attended the concert with her, told news site G1 that her friend passed out at the beginning of the concert as Taylor performed her second song, Cruel Summer. In her statement, Taylor said it happened before the show, but she also said that she had very little information. According to a number of online reports, Anna fainted while at the show and it's believed she suffered a cardiac arrest amid the heat wave. As a result of this tragedy and the conditions, a group had launched an online petition for the Benavides law to make water in events mandatory. It garnered over 150,000 signatures in just a few hours. And thankfully, federal authorities have announced that free water would be made available at all future concerts. The Justice Minister said that the ministry would implement emergency rules in response to the situation and later announced that water bottles for personal use in suitable material will be allowed and that the show producers must provide free and easily accessible drinking water. The mayor of Rio also issued a statement and said while the circumstances are being investigated, the municipality will demand for tonight's show that the production company provide new water distribution points, more brigades and ambulances, and advance entrance to the show by one hour. It's good to hear that new safety precautions and measures are being implemented for tonight's show and the fact that people can actually bring water to drink and stay hydrated. If you are going to tonight's show or any show moving forward, please make sure you keep yourself hydrated and take all necessary precautions. Right before I hit post, Taylor has now shared that tonight's show in Rio is being postponed. She said, I'm writing this from my dressing room in the stadium. The decision has been made to postpone tonight's show due to the extreme temperatures in Rio. The safety and well-being of my fans, fellow performers and crew has to and always will come first. While this might be disappointing for a lot of Swifties attending tonight, this is the right decision based on everything we've learned so far and the fact that today is even hotter in Rio. Sending thoughts and prayers to Anna, her family and her friends. May she rest in peace.